So this question looks like a traditional simplify question. Simplify questions are always very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and will contain either an expression or like what we have here, an equation. The question here says, what is the smallest solution to the given equation? So all I'm gonna do is start off with the equation provided and start to simplify it. I see that I have square roots on both sides of this equation, so I'm going to just square both sides of the equation here. Um, squaring both sides of the equation leads me to just having an x minus 2 squared here and a 3x plus 4, plus 34, sorry. So I'm going to now expand this into x minus 2 times x minus 2, which would simplify into x squared minus 4x plus 4. I got that from using a process called FOIL which hopefully sounds familiar. It's just an acronym. F stands for first, I multiply the two first things. That's how I got x squared. O stands for outer, multiply the two outer things, which is negative two x. I is for inner, multiply the two inner terms, which is also negative two x. Negative two x plus negative two x, that's how I got negative four x. And then L is for last, I multiply the two last terms inside parentheses, negative two times negative four, that's how I got a positive four. So that's where x squared minus four x plus four came from. And I have now equals my 3x plus 34. I'm going to combine like terms, subtracting 3x from both sides, subtracting 34 also from both sides, which leaves me with x squared minus 7x uh, minus 30 equals 0. I know I have a trinomial that I can factor. I need to find are there two numbers which multiply to equal negative 30 but add up to negative seven. There, in fact, are two numbers that do that, and that would be a positive three and a negative 10, right? Negative 10 times three is negative 30, and negative 10 plus three is negative seven. So that means that this x squared minus seven x plus 30 would become x plus three, that's my positive three, and x minus 10, there's my negative 10. And this is, of course, equal to zero. So the solution here will be to set each of these binomials equal to zero separately, and then solve each one separately. So here I'd have x equals negative three. Here I'd have x equals 10. And the question asks for the smallest solution. Well, that would be the negative three, right? Like negative three is smaller than 10. So our answer here is negative three.